Hello and welcome to the channel. This is my first video so I hope you find it uh, useful and uh, entertaining. So I want to talk about the MITRE ATT&CK framework and the DETECT tool and how we can use that to visualize our, our data sources. So if you've been in cybersecurity for any length of time you'll be aware of the MITRE ATT&CK framework which details the uh, tactics and the techniques uh, that can be used by the bad guys to try and compromise our systems. If we have a look at one of these techniques, you'll see that MITRE's put together a description, you know, some mitigations, and uh, how we can actually detect that attack. But one of the challenges is how do we map our log sources, our um, you know, defensive and detection controls against the attack framework so we can see where we're successful in detecting some of these things and where we're not going to be. And that's where the uh, detect tool comes in. So this tool is available on GitHub. Um, I can put a link in the description. Basically, uh, this tool is able to identify data sources. We can look at visibility coverage. We can do detection coverage. But for this video, we're gonna look at the data sources. So essentially what we're trying to do here is map our log sources um, to the attack framework and figure out where we have gaps, where we might want to add more log sources, um, and just basically to get a better understanding of, of where we're at. So the way it works is the tool uses a, a YAML file with all the log sources in it. That then gets converted to a layer file, which um, we can import into the attack navigator from MITRE, um, and it will color code and, and show us um, basically where we're able to detect using our logs and, and where we've got gaps. So we'll go through that process now. So the first tool we're going to hit is the uh, detect editor. Now this is actually available online um, at this link here, or if you're running the tool locally, um, you have it available to you as well. So because we're doing data sources, we're, we're going to click on data sources, we're going to create a new file. Now in the domain, we're in the enterprise space today. The name is fine. You can give that a name that makes sense for you. And what we need to do now is add a data source. So we click on this button here. And okay, so now we need to add something. So we've had a look. We know that we are um, logging DNS traffic. So let's have a look. What have we got? Internal DNS. That sounds like a good one. Now, in applicable, that just means um, you can add different systems in there, but we're going to say it's just for now it's applicable to. To all systems. Date registered is the date you registered it with this tool. And date connected is when you connected those logs with something like a seam. Um, so we're not going to worry about that for now. Data source is enabled. We want to put yes. And is it available for data analytics? We can put yes if we're going to feed that into our seam. Now products is just something useful to say where we get the logs from essentially. So we could put in there, let's say, uh, Windows DNS for now and you'll also notice down here there's a bunch of scoring now um, for completeness this should be done properly because uh, it does feed into the color coding that goes into the navigator but we're just going to leave it as it is for the minute so what we're going to do is let's add another data source so maybe let's add um, network connections network connection creation there we go again applicable to all it is enabled. We are going to feed that into a seam and have it available for analytics. And let's say that's network connections um, detection is coming from our, our EDR tool. So we'll add that one in. And we'll add one more. Um, let's say authentication. What have we got? User account authentication. Okay, we turn that on. And this one's going to come from Azure. We're going to pull that in from, from our Azure AD logs. Okay, so now we've added our three data sources. All we need to do is save down this YAML file. So I will do that. And I'm just going to move that into our tool folder. And once we get it into our tool folder, then we can uh, convert that to the layer file. And just need to rename that. Okay. 
So now I have the detect tool running uh, on my machine here in a Docker container, and this is a command line to convert that to a layer file. So I'm going to run that. And you can see here it's it's written the output into a JSON file. So now we're actually ready to um, import that into the attack navigator. So we'll come over to here. Let's do a new layer. We'll upload from our machine. And there we go. So now you can see the purple is where we have some log coverage. And all the white stuff is where we, we don't have any log coverage. Um, there is a, a legend down here with, which shows the uh, darkness of the colors as to how much coverage we actually have. And basically that's it. So um, it's a really great tool for being able to re uh, map out your log sources against the MITRE ATT&CK framework. I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, if you have, please subscribe. Thanks for your time.